People often wonder if there is a link between bioengineered foods or genetically modified foods. We, we always hear of GMO, which stands for genetically modified organisms, uh, and the risk of developing cancer or other types of chronic disease. Uh, we're basically told by the Food and Drug Administration that, that genetically modified foods or bioengineered foods, whether they be plants or animals, um, are safe. And there are, just, there are no convincing data uh, that tell us that, that either uh, GMO or bioengineered uh, foods um, have any increased risk of development of chronic diseases or cancer. Uh, that said, um, there are a number of countries around the world, many, many big countries around the world, uh, that uh, don't feel exactly the same way and actually have banned uh, the use of GMO in, uh, in the types of foods that they allow them to produce in those countries. The United States has not done that. Uh, there was a controversial study that was retracted uh, fairly recently uh, that was showing that genetically modified uh, corn, when fed to certain types of rats, actually increased the risk of those rats developing breast cancer significantly compared to rats that were fed non-genetically modified corn. Uh, additionally, the, in the same study, they found that the, uh, the herbicide that was, that was used um, when fed to these rats in their water uh, significantly increased the risk of those rats developing breast cancer compared with the rats that were not getting this herbicide. Uh, this is uh, called uh, glyphosate, which is a Monsanto uh, type of herbicide, and it's used specifically for GMO-modified uh, plants to basically spray on them so that, so that they have a, uh, you know, still a greater chance of, of living robustly in the environment and uh, not being killed by the herbicide. So the question is, in that study, you know, was it the, uh, the fact that the, the corn was GMO or was it the glyphosate? We're not quite sure, but regardless, uh, due to a lot of political pressure, that study was retracted. So um, there, the authors of that study are actually working on a, on a new study to look at that. The bottom line is we just don't have enough data to really know. Uh, my recommendation is whenever possible, uh, you know, try not to consume uh, bioengineered foods as much as you can. Consume organic foods. Those are foods that are going to have uh, very low amounts, hopefully, of fertilizers and pesticides and hormones and antibiotics that may impact us, in, if not indirectly, or excuse me, not directly, perhaps indirectly in terms of you know, decreasing our risk, hopefully, by, by avoiding these things of developing cancers or other chronic diseases. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, click this button.